OpenAI just released GPT-5, so we're going to be using GPT-5 to create an AI receptionist and to be able to answer any basic questions, pull from a knowledge base, and then transfer the call for any billing issues or membership questions. So I went ahead and recorded a quick and easy tutorial, so let's just dive in. So we're going to go ahead and jump into Rattel AI, click on the first one here. We're going to make sure to log in up here. Make an account, should be entirely free. It's pay as you go, so you can be doing this entirely for free. And then you want to go to the top right and create an agent. Go here, select a voice agent. And then we're going to go ahead and say, select single prompt agent up here. And then you could pick a template if you want, but in the description down below, I'll have my link to my free AI school community and I'll have my prompt available there. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste and then follow along for the rest. I'm going to click on start from blank and you want to click on create. Now I already have mine over here, so we're just going to click on it. And we can see that I have my prompt over here that's going to be available in my school community. And then we're going to make sure to select GPT-5 up here. I just have the d default one over here. I selected Kate as the voice. I just personally like this voice, so I think it sounds nice. And then of course we have it on English. So jumping into the prompt a little bit here, I gave it an identity. I said its name is Jamie. It's a front desk at Fitwell Gym. You are a friendly and professional receptionist. Uh, I said you do not give workout, diet, or medical advice. If a request becomes too complicated or involves signing someone up for membership, handling billing issues, or processing cancellations, make sure to transfer the call. That's a big thing here, right? It's going to be answering any generic and basic questions, but then when it gets a little bit too complex, we want to make sure to transfer that. So that is how we are reducing human input. The 50% of calls that people call at the gym, basic questions about memberships, classes. So we have AI handling that entire side of things, and then we have a transfer for anything a little bit more complex. I gave it the style guardrails, friendly, concise, one question at a time, conversational flow. The response guidelines, if a user provides partial or unclear info, ask for clarification politely. Uh, write a little bit more of some guidelines here. Here's the main task. Handle the inquiry and then, you know, wrap it up. And at the bottom here for the welcome message, I put pause before speaking to 1.6. Maybe we can reduce this to maybe one second. Now, the reason why I like doing this is a lot of times on outbound phone calls, when I receive the call, it'll immediately start speaking and then I don't even have time to put it on speaker and I just can't even hear the first thing that they said. But for inbound, it's a little bit different. I'm actually calling them. So we're gonna leave it at one second. And then we have AI speaks first here. Here's the custom message. Hi, this is Jamie from Fitwell Gym's front desk. How can I help you today? Cool. Now, main thing here is this function or these two functions that I selected. We have the end call and the transfer call. So the end call is very basic. It just hangs up the call in case the, the user at the end just forgets to hang up. At least the AI can do this and we're not just running minutes and wasting money. So it'll end, end the call on its own. And then we have the transfer call function as well. So you click on add here, call transfer, and you guys, you can see there's a bunch more of these functions here. That's why I really like using Rattel AI for voice agents. I think it's the number one platform for any voice agents. It has so many, so many integrations that it's very easy to use. So you click on call transfer or call it transfer call if you'd like. And I also have that in the prompt, right? Make sure to transfer to a representative uh, and I name the, the tool transfer call. So if I go ahead and click on edit here, named it transfer call, gave it a quick description, and then I gave it a phone number to transfer to. And then here, interestingly, there, there's two options for the type. We have cold transfer and warm transfer. Warm transfer is very neat because what this does, if I hover here, AI provides a debrief to the next agent after transferring the call. So instead of just transferring and be like and having no context, it'll actually give context before transferring the call. So that's a really powerful tool. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to use the cold transfer. So it'll just transfer with no information provided. And then we could have some more settings here that I'm not going to I'm not going to play around with. We don't really need it. We're just going to do a cold transfer. Make sure to click on save or update. We're going to go ahead and of course add a knowledge base here. And in order to add a knowledge base, we want to go back here, go to knowledge base. You want to select the plus up here and create your knowledge base, name it what you'd like. And then I have a PDF that I'm actually going to go ahead and show you here. I had GPT-5, ironically, create this knowledge base for me. And it's just some random information on the gym, right, with the general information, the hours of operation, membership information, classes and programs. So, of course, if you were deploying this, you'd add a lot more to the knowledge base. And again, right, I'm probably doing around 90% of this. Uh, if you're actually deploying and selling an automation like this, uh, you want to make sure to add all those little technicalities that I'm about to show you right now. Uh, if I go back to the right side, speech settings, real-time transcription settings, call settings, these are all things you want to tweak as you're testing. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm doing about 90% of it, and it'll still operate very smoothly. But again, if you have a client who wants to make this thing perfect, 
you don't want to play around with all these settings. So for the speech settings, I have background sound on none, responsiveness set to one, interruption sensitivity set to 0.9, uh, a little bit of stuff here that I left this on default, real-time transcription settings, denoising mode, remove noise, optimize for speed, general, works well across most industries. Okay, so that's vocabulary specialization. Choose the vocabulary set to use for the transcription. General works fine for this. Uh, again, call settings down here. I don't have the voicemail thing on. User keypad input detection. Uh, you could just copy what I do here, but again, if you really wanna test this and refine it, I would definitely test every time you, you update some of these sliders. Post call analysis, this one's really important, but I don't have anything for the purpose of this video because this is usually for APIs. If you wanna connect the transcript or certain variables to like a Google Sheet or an Airtable or to a CRM, this becomes super powerful because the client or whoever you're selling this to will be able to analyze everything about the calls. And again, super powerful for any reports or analytics. Security and fallback settings, I don't have anything there. Same thing with webhooks and the MCPs. MCPs is a little bit more complex. We're not gonna be running uh, MCPs. We already have these two functions up here. Uh, that are that are good enough. So once we have all this, you have the very you have the prompt set. You have all these these settings configured. We're gonna go ahead and click on publish. And you're gonna, I'm probably gonna name this like prototype one. And then I'm gonna select inbound phone number and then add the phone number that I have. So if you don't have a phone number here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click publish. But if you don't have a phone number over here, we're gonna go back to the main screen. Click on phone numbers and you wanna buy a phone number, go here. And I believe buying a phone number is like $2 a month, so it's super cheap. Uh, and again, you get charged as you go. You can see my credits down here. So you're gonna buy a new number. I like to use Twilio personally, and I picked one of the first ones, and you click on save, and then you successfully have a phone number. And then you go ahead and select here the agent you're using, and here are both of my prototypes, prototype one, one, and then draft. So I just published this one, so I'm gonna select that one. And for that's about everything we need for this test. We don't need to add any add-ons here, but we can add SMS. We can verify the phone number, have a branded call. So this is really business-oriented. Uh, Retelli, I really, really did a great job with this. So now that I have all this configured, I'm actually going to go ahead and dial this number that I have up here. Hi, this is Jamie from Fitwell Gym's front desk. How can I help you today? Hey, I was just calling because I had a quick question about your membership. What's uh what's that last membership your top membership? What's the what are the perks included? Can you just make it brief? Our top option is the premium membership. Perks include 24/7 gym access, unlimited group fitness classes, one free personal training session each month, access to specialty programs. Is there anything else I can help you with yeah. today before Do you we guys finish? also do uh, do you guys also do yoga? Do you guys have yoga classes? Yes, we do. We offer yoga classes throughout the week in the mornings, afternoons, and evenings. You can book a spot through the Fitwell mobile app, the online member portal, or by calling the front desk. Is cool. there anything else yeah. I can help uh, you Yeah, well, that, sounds, we that sounds pretty interesting. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a membership. Can we do that on the phone? That sounds like something a representative can assist with. I can transfer you now. Is that okay with you? Yep, no problem. And then it transfers me over. So just like that, I was asking about the membership and it knew, okay, here's a membership. I can't handle this. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to a human. Usually what it should do is probably give me a confirmation. Hey, is it okay if I transfer you? But for this case, it's pretty basic. Hey, okay, here are the, here are the, here are the answers to your questions. Oh, you want a membership? Let's go ahead and transfer you over. So thank you for making it till the end of this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments or join my free AI school community. You can post your questions there and I'll try to answer as many as possible. We also have around 200 members in there. They'll be able to answer your questions as well. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys want to do. And I will see you all in the next video.